Hey, Vic Nakashima here with Bartlett Tree Experts. Here we are in early August and the emergence of brood X cicadas might seem like it was eons ago. <laughs> but perhaps you're enjoying a respite from the incessant droning hum and the fact that they never seem to quite grasp the concept of personal space. But um, I'm not so sure that our trees can leave it behind like yesterday's memory the same way that we can. Um, if you look around the canopy of some of these trees, you'll notice that some of the tips of the branches are turning brown and dying back. That's a result of the female cicada using their ovipositor to puncture the bark of the twig and give it a cavity where they can lay their eggs. And one female cicada can do this up to 35 times. So a lot of times what happens is these wounds girdle the twig and the twig just falls off to the ground altogether. So some of these trees might look like they're in pretty rough shape, but most healthy vital trees can withstand this type of pest pretty easily. But it's not a bad idea to have a certified arborist come out to your property and just inspect the landscape. What we'll probably recommend is fertilization and soil care, just to help offset the damage done by these cicadas. So if you have any questions or if you're concerned about cicada damaging your trees or shrubs, feel free to reach out to us. We're here to help.